This video is brought to you by Cupo Grip. I feel like a DJ. Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Now, Cupo Grip has sent us some very interesting gear and they are a manufacturer of all kinds of grip tools such as clamps, poles, light stands and a ton more. So I thought, let's turn my living room into a movie set. We're going to create three short scenes in different genres. We've got horror, action and drama. The horror scene had to play at night, but because the sun was shining pretty hard outside, we had to cover up the windows. Here we could use the cube holes from Cupo Grip to clamp a black fabric on the outside of the window. If you can't clamp it outside, you can also fix it in place to the ceiling inside. And since we're trying to cover up a 4 meters or 13 foot window, we used a double convy clamp on top. We also call these a super clamp, or in this case, double super clamps. And this allowed us to secure an extension cube hole in there on which we could throw a black fabric and completely darken the living room. And with horror, you can make your lighting ugly. And with that, I mean having low or high angles, deep shadows, and of course, backlights. We started off with Lorenzo sitting in front of the TV. And to mimic that, we had an aperture LED panel with a soft filter. With the controller, we dialed the brightness of the lights to let it flicker a little bit. The TV itself wouldn't give enough output, which is why we did it like this. And this is done very often in films or series. Then as for the background, we had some blue lighting in there, which represents the moonlight to create a night feeling. We had another aperture panel in the kitchen, which we softened to give a blue fill. But as Janik pops into the shot, we want to make sure that he's a silhouette to keep it mysterious. And that's why we added an extra backlight to the scene. Since we don't want to have any light stands visible in the shot, we use a super visor clamp from Cupo. You can clamp it anywhere and it comes with a standard adapter socket on which you can attach any light. If you're using something with cables, you can tuck that away over the ceiling. We are using a Stellar Pro, which is super small and it runs on internal batteries. And then we took a shot from the other side. We want to keep the same lighting, so we're going to change it. Makes sense, right? Well, since I was casting shadows with the camera coming from the blue backlight, which now was a frontal lighting, we had to move it to the side. We also lowered it to create a hard shadow, typical for horror films. The TV wasn't giving enough light, so that aperture panel had to stay there. Unfortunately, we couldn't place it anywhere without having it in the shot. Luckily, we had the supervisor clamp, so I could attach one to the ceiling. Next up, we're creating an action scene, and here we went from a typical teal and orange look. For the teal or the blue, again, we set up a moonlight. To avoid having it in the shot, we clamped a cube pole horizontal between two walls. And there, we then attached a blue colored light, which acts as a backlight. We did the same with the tungsten light, which is a light pointed down, and it acts as a ceiling spot. The ceiling spot was nice, as it was first acting as an orange fill light, but as Lorenzo passed it, it became a strong backlight, putting him half in the dark. In the editing though, we noticed that we didn't have enough shots of the scene itself. Typical for action films is that you have a fast cutting pace. So what we did was adding extra cuts and just scaled up the clip to add some extra close-ups in there. Moving on to the last scene, drama. And here you want to avoid having too much contrasts. Flat and dirty lighting fits very good here. We let back in some daylight, which has a blue color tone. To stay in the same color spectrum, we went for a slight green tone for the indoor lighting. And this could be a fictional fluorescent lighting. We set up the cube poles again with a double convy clamp to secure the extension poles in place. Here we added two Stella Pros with soft and green filters over them. We now had a very nice lighting coming from the back, creating some more depth over the scene. But we do retain that flat look because of the choice of colors. We're going for a slow pace, so we chose for a one-shot on the Magic Carpet Pro slider from Syrup. Please leave your message after the tone. 
Hello, Mr. Clarkson. It's Jeff Winston speaking here from the police department. I have some great news for you. Your wife and child are found alive and okay. They were the only ones to survive the plane crash and were found in a small island nearby the incident. Call me back at any time, okay? You have my personal number. You are one lucky man, Mr. Clarkson. Poor Lorenzo. Anyways, this fiction film themed video is part of our process towards a short film that we're planning to produce. We asked you guys to submit an ID and we've been receiving tons of great ideas. We're still processing everything, but we'll let you guys know by the end of the week which story is going to be. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, let us know by hitting that thumbs up button. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Cupo Grip, for the support. And by the way, guys, if you want to check out all the gear from Cupo, you can find a link to them in the description below. But most importantly, stay creative. Lorenzo, how is the foam? The foam is going great, but it's a little bit slimy yet. <laughs> Lorenzo finally grew a beard. <laughs> ho ho ho. <laughs>